Meet the Leon, a brand new performance focused hatchback with strong links to the ever popular Volkswagen Golf GTI and Golf R. What is Cupra? Ask. It is a Spanish performance brand that falls under the umbrella of the Volkswagen Group such as Skoda, with a trio of models, including the Leon pair, launched in Australia around the middle of the year. Don't ask me why, but Leon looks but happy, doesn't feel it from the cabin somehow smaller than the Golf, looking compact and aggressive which is probably exactly what one would want from a warm or hot hatch. The Cupra treatment works well here, too, with the wide hood that tapers to the small grille-ish of the Cupra crest, giving a look of purpose and intent to Leon. At the rear, a solid red light bar runs along the boot, while the quad exhaust tips and a copper finish all add to the sporty vibe of this hot hatch. Inside the top spec model, you'll find a pared-down, performance-focused space, with a new-looking gear selector, and a large screen positioned in front of the driver and in the center of the dashboard. But while it feels well blended, it doesn't feel special enough in the cabin to fully justify the price. According to official UK data, the Cupra measures 4,398mm in length, 1,442mm in height and 1,799mm in width, and the brand says it can expect 380 litres of luggage space in the trunk. It's a relatively compact hot hatch, but the rear seat space is ample, with enough leg and headroom to keep those taller than 175cm happy meaning the Cupra Leon strikes a pretty good balance between everyday potency and practicality. There's the usual assortment of cup holders and bottle storage, as well as USB charging points for all riders, and ISOFIX attachments on each window seat in the back. The V opens the process with a turbocharged 2.0-liter petrol engine, 7-speed DSG and 18-inch alloy wheels. On the outside, expect LED lighting all around, automatic headlights and some sporty gear like a roof spoiler. Inside, there's a 10.25-inch cluster, a 10.0-inch display with navigation, wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wireless phone charging, and ambient interior lighting. The seats are sporty, but wrapped in cloth, the steering wheel is leather wrapped and heated, and there's keyless entry and start. The range then steps up to the Leon VZ, which adds a larger 180 kilowatts and 370 newton meters output, and a 19-inch alloy. Next up, there's the VZE, which is all about a smart electric powertrain but more on that in a bit. Lastly, there's the top-spec VZX, which gets a choice of performance kits, including 19-inch performance sport wheels, side skirts, and quad exhaust exhausts. The brand's petrol blue color scheme adorns the VZX's cabin, including heated leather seats up front, a sportier steering wheel, and there's an improved beat sound system with nine speakers and a subwoofer. The entry-level Cupra Leon V is equipped with a 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol engine capable of producing 140 kilowatts, 320 newton meters of power. Stepping up to the VZ raises the grunt to 180 kilowatts, 370 newton meters. Then there's the top-spec VZX, which delivers 221 kilowatts and 400 newton meters, all paired with a DSG 7-speed wet clutch and front-wheel drive. The truly interesting model, however, is the VZE PHEV, which combines a 1.4-liter 110 kilowatts, 250 newton meters turbo petrol four-cylinder engine with an 85 kilowatts, 300 newton meters front-mounted electric motor for a combined 180 kilowatts, 400 newton meters. It has a six-speed DCT. 
Cupra in Australia has yet to confirm official fuel figures for the Leon range, but internationally the standout is the VZE, which pairs its powerful powertrain with a 1.1 to 1.3L fuel efficiency although that's measured in unique ways that are difficult, if not impossible, to do. To imitate, for context, the most powerful engine makes 6.7L and one would expect the PHEV to beat it comfortably. Full disclosure, time behind the wheel of the Cupra Leon has so far been limited to a series of flying laps in Sydney Motorsport Park a very long, very fast racetrack, so if you're looking for an answer to how easily a hot hatch would sneak into everyday life, it can't be helped. However, wondering if Leon would put a smile on his face when he wanted to be a little generous with the accelerator, then it can help. Get into Leon's excellent sport seat, and use his Cupra Drive's maximum attack mode, and the little hatch feels almost like it's flexing, ready for action. The only Leon available to sample is the full noise 221 kilowatts version, and it doesn't disappoint, providing a bit of the noisy and enthusiastic experience one might expect from a car that's only slightly less powerful than the VW Golf R, but what one might not expect is the rather old-fashioned way of delivering the experience, with Leon feeling a little light and flying at speed, like wanting to move a little under high-speed braking, and like wanting to stay on his toes. While the Cupra Ateca feels incredibly fast, the smaller, lighter Leon feels more like it's an integral part of what's going on outside the window, and is a lot like driving it, not the other way around up to and including a small lag in power delivery, apparently as it struggles to gain traction when driving 5.7 seconds to 100 km per hour if that sounds like a bad thing, it's not that it only adds to the theatrics and interesting nature of this new hot hatch.